I'm losing my cool when I'm here right next to you. Hi guys, this is going to be a pamper and relaxation routine. Bea's has actually just been spayed and she's had a few other bits done as well. So she's cone head at the moment and we are just taking it easy and relaxing at home. So I wanted to show you what we do. And I've just got some flowers in because I love the house to feel very bright for springtime. And of course, I'm going to have some tea to start off with. I'm actually using my Royal Albert 100 Years collection. I love this collection. It's so bright. It's very vintagey. Which design do you like? the best comment below now and I'm using my space NKT this is actually really relaxing and really good for detoxing I didn't even realize they do tea so I'm putting a couple of bits in this as well I'm actually running a giveaway at the moment to meet me for afternoon tea over on Twitter and Instagram so make sure you're following Royal Albert I'm going to put all the information below but I want to see your Easter pictures if you tweet me or Instagram me I'm going to be retweeting some of those so just use the hashtag 100 years of tea but I'll put it all below and I also have a code TBT10 which is going to give you some discount if you want to get those cups because I love them so much and Easter for me is all about tea and chocolate so I'm using my Charbonnel and Walker chocolates these are the champagne truffles they're some of my favorite they are so good if you just want a bit of a relax and a bit of me time and then I'm lighting my Cordely Divine candle I love Cordely it's made from grape extract and this candle smells so luxury and spa like and then I'm taking my Locatan Neroli and Orchard Bath Milk. This is actually made from the white flowers, so it's very delicate, it smells very floral, and it's so moisturizing in the bath as well. I'm putting Spotify on. At the moment, I love Gabrielle Aplin. I've loved her for ages, but I've kind of got back into her again, and I find her music so relaxing. And then I'm gonna use my Garnier Micellar Extra Gentle Cleansing Wipes, and this is really good just for taking any dirt off that you might have on your face. I love my face to be clean when I get in the bath, and that's great for sensitive skin. And then I'm using my Ole Henriksen Walnut Complexion Scrub. Who can remember when I was obsessed with this? And this is the only scrub I use. I've just got a new one. It smells like candy, but I love this scrub. It's really good at removing dead skin. And so it's just very, very soft. Your skin feels incredible after using this. And then as a mask, because I'm relaxing, I'm using my Lizelle Deep Cleansing Mask. I love the Lizelle Cleanser. So I was really excited to try the mask. You guys had recommended this and it's got green clay in and manuka honey so obviously it's great for that really deep cleanse and honey is amazing for your skin as well so I'm just putting that on the smell is incredible and I'm having a bit of a relax with my tea I chose to use the yellow cup which is actually my favorite in the range and then once the mask has been on for about 10 minutes you take it off with a wet cloth which you actually get with the mask as well and then I'm using my Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. You actually get six in a pack. I am obsessed with these for getting rid of blackheads. It's kind of gross to see them all coming out, but it's so satisfying. So you twist the strip, wet your nose, put it on, leave it on for about 10 minutes, and that is just gonna give your pores an amazing cleanse. And whilst that's on, I'm just gonna shave. I use the same razor all the time, my Venus one, because you don't need a shaving gel with it. It's so moisturizing and it just gives me a really close shave. And then you peel that strip off so gently and you will see all the blackheads coming out. I love doing these. It makes me kind of freaked out about how many blackheads I have. And then I'm gonna wash my body and exfoliate with this really fun Frank body scrub. It's actually the ori original coffee scrub. I've seen so many people Instagram this. You guys have recommended this. It's so fun to do and it's really good for dry skin. It's not tested on animals either so I love it. It's got sweet almond oil and vitamin E. Obviously it smells of coffee but it's so moisturizing as well. It's incredible to use and then I'm going to use my Body Shop Japanese Camellia Cream. This is actually really nice and velvety and soft. It has camellia oil in so it's very luxurious and it's amazing after you've used that scrub for just softening the skin. And then I'm using my Malvita Damask Rose Floral Water. This is actually organic water taken from steaming rose petals so you could imagine the smell it's really good for sensitive skin I love to just spray this on my face to relax and it's really nice for just moisturizing my neck and then I'm going to sort out these chipped nails taking them from horrible and chipped to really nice and glittery I actually wanted to go for a nude but with a little bit of glitter on the top so I'm using my nails ink superfood base coat this is really good I have a lot of discoloring on my nails at the moment so I'm really trying to put this on to help then I'm using my Sephora X formula X polish and this is 
in Invincible. It's a really nice nude, but with a little bit of yellow in it. And the formula of those are amazing. And then I'm using my little Ondine glitter, which uh, my friend Anne actually gave to me. It's such a game changer. It's all natural, so it's really good for your nails, but the glitter just peels off. So no more struggling with getting glitter off. They have colors as well. You can get them all off QVC. I don't know where you can get them from in shops, but it is amazing. And then my sesh feet on top to dry it. And then B is having a little bit of salmon because she is being super fussy at the moment when she's ill with food. And I'm actually gonna use this delicious alchemy rice porridge to make some gluten-free flapjacks because when I'm relaxing, I love to have a sweet treat. So I'm putting in some butter and then adding some soft brown sugar. Then I'm taking some honey and maple syrup and just pouring that in. I love to have a big dollop of maple syrup. And then I add a little squeeze of honey at the end as well, just to make it extra sweet and tasty. It's probably not amazingly good for you, but it tastes absolutely incredible and then I fold in that porridge. This is so good. Rice porridge actually I think tastes nicer than normal porridge. I pour that into a little ramekin bowl and then I'm going to put that in the oven on 180 degrees for 25 minutes and it comes out looking golden and delicious. I'll put the recipe for that below. It's actually two years this weekend since dad went and I cannot believe it's been that long. I miss him so much so I'm putting on some music and I've actually got my happiness planner. I really try and focus on staying happy especially at times like this so I'm staying super positive and writing all the things that I'm very grateful for like you guys and also baking and keeping very busy click on the candle if you don't want the relaxation to end that's going to take you through to more videos and make sure you're subscribed as well to my channel so you don't miss any of those videos in your feed bye guys